Hey guys, and welcome back to a new Roblox scripting tutorial. Today we are here and I'm showing you how to make a um, double jump and dive script for your Roblox game. So let's get right into this. I have the model already in my game, but I will be explaining the scripts and how to customize it to your own needs. So let's get into this. The script uh, is going to be in a model and I'll put it in the description. Uh, but if you want to script as you go, uh, I'll just slowly scroll down and you can pause as I do this. Okay, so now that we're done with that, there is two animations here. Roll R15 and Roll R6. Now these model, uh, these animations you need to make yourself. I may be able to, um to give you the keyframes and if i do if i am able to do that you'll just need to load it into the animation editor under new animation save that to roblox and replace the ids here so it's a little complicated there but you need an r15 one and an r6 one with the two different characters so uh the script i'll explain it really quick right here max jumps are two so really you could add more jumps if you want so uh time bet between jumps you can change that also so uh that's set to 0 0.1 i'm gonna set max dies to let's do two also uh ac max jumps to three okay so that will just uh yeah do exactly what it does um our this uh, variable is called hrp and it is for the humanoid root part we got the head, we got the humanoid, and it's just basically all the variables there. Now the particle, and this is going to make a cool effect, uh, it will look very similar to the 2018 egg hunt. And it just adds a little effect, and we're going to set that parent to nil, which means nothing. So we're going to set that uh, the parent of it to nothing. And then, we're going to... Uh, so, uh, we're going to define the animation, local animation. And then we're going to say, if the humanoid rig type equals humanoid rig type R15, so if the character type is R15, then we're going to load the animation R15, and then otherwise we're going to load R6. And this is on the client side, so it's different for every single person, and that's why we can define the uh, animation two different ways because there's ev uh, there's an animation inside of a script inside of every single person instead of one script inside of the whole entire game. So we're gonna use a variable as a delay right here can jump and equals true. If can jump equals true, we're gonna set jump count to zero. Can if can dive equals true, dive count is zero and total dives equals zero which is a new variable <laughs> okay so they're gonna create the particle la -da, da 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 just create the particle there and then uh they're gonna clone the particle and put it inside the character and um yeah okay so now we got uh the jumping right here so if humanoid state type equals landed swimming running or running no physics then we're uh, can dive equals true so if they have landed if they are swimming if they are running and whatever else it said we're gonna set can dive to true so they can dive and they can jump but we're and then we're gonna set jump count to zero and dive count to zero and we're gonna stop the animation so that's gonna actually stop them from uh jumping and diving instead of uh, letting them I mean, other other way around. That's gonna that's gonna let them. Um, okay, a little hard to explain here. So we're gonna set can dive once they've landed or they're swimming. Um, we're going to set it to true, and then we're going to stop the animation, which, if we look from earlier, is um, the roll. So if they are doing any of this we can roll so we'll s i mean we can't roll so we'll stop that animation right there 
and we'll set the jump count and dive count to zero because we haven't done that. And then, uh, other uh, otherwise we'll um, if we're free falling or flying, then can drive can dive equals true, and uh can jump equals true. But we'll wait the time between jumps. So it's a little hard to explain there because there's a lot of stuff, but it works, and that's all that matters. <laughs> um, and then on jump request, they're gonna do the jump. I think I just did something. Yeah. Okay, um, they're gonna do the jump, and that just, you can read all that, it's a lot of velocity, and it just pushes the f player up uh, two times, and then, th this is the dive right here, there's no animation for the dive, so it's all scripted out here, but that's all for that, and once you load in, this is my Cyber Battles game, so you are getting a sneak peek here, um, there's not much on the map. I gotta work on that today. But you can see you can double jump and there's that animation right there. Yeah, okay. It froze for a second, but we're good now. Yeah. And then um, you can dive. You jump once and dive. But you can't double jump and then dive. Yeah, so you gotta do that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't double jump and then dive, you just one jump dive. And dive is control, and uh, space bar twice is double jump. But let's play around a little, because there is a lot more we can do here. We can customize this, we can set the time between jumps to different, but I like it right there. We can set max dives, let's do two dives. Max jumps to four. Let's see how that works. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it bugs out a little because the script is not made for that. So, um, it does bug out a little. So, bum, 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 bum. Okay. So, three. And then, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little buggy with more than one, but it does work, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to set that back to the regular numbers. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me there. Uh, and yeah, I'll put this model in the description. You got to make your own uh, role model, though, which is pretty easy. I'm going to just go through it really quick. Um, yeah, y you just need to add the animation editor and you need to build a rig block rig that's all you need right here and then continue and i'm gonna just load in you can really just do this right here and then as the first keyframe you just set his torso and you rotate that and then here you rotate it a little more and then you do his legs oh sh sorry guys and then you do here, you do that, and then you do it around, so you get, the, you get the idea there. After you do that, you export it, and there you go. Uh, this is also, uh, yeah, this is it. I will do this next tutorial. It's the minigame system right here. I am still perfecting it. Uh, it is not ready to be uh, tutorialed on yet, but then we got the obby right here with the flowing lava, so... Uh, that is pretty cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, and peace.